All right, so our goal is to arrange the tiles in the shape of a square and figure out what tiles have to be added to make a perfect square out of x squared plus 4x. So notice that you have blue tiles and you have red tiles and you have green tiles, right? Your blue tile is x by x. That's a positive x squared, the big blue one, okay? When you flip it over, it becomes red. That would be a negative x squared, okay? Then you have some green ones that are positive x. When you flip those bars over, they become negative x. So they're just a 1 on one side by some x value up and down. Whereas the x squared is that same x value sideways and x, square, x up and down. And then we have some little ones. They're red on one side and kind of a beige color on the other side. Those are our positive and our negative one. Beige is positive and red is always going to be negative for us. Okay? So we're really only going to need one of those x squared tiles each time. So if you want to organize your stuff and not worry about losing it or whatever, put the rest of them back in the bag, that's okay. But how are we going to arrange this so we can make a perfect square out of x squared and four of these green ones. So I'll let you try. See if you can figure it out. Just want an x squared and four green x's, one blue x squared, four green x's, and you may have to add some beige ones to it. Kayla's got the right idea. Brenna's got the right idea. Good job. Very good. This is what I'm seeing Brenna and Laurel doing. And I love what they're doing with this. Move this down a little bit. Everybody agree that Brenna and Laurel have a perfect square? Does that look like a perfect square? Okay, but it's kind of hard to tell the dimensions of that square, isn't it? Okay, if I wanted to know how wide it was or how tall it was. Okay, so let's use this x squared as our corner piece and can we arrange those same tiles in some way to the side and below 
in order to get a perfect square. Okay? What I need you to do is to have something like a bounding box here. Because we want to be able to find the dimensions of this. So we want something like a, a line here and a line here that's going to help us get our dimensions when it's all said and done. So how can we arrange them now, keeping that one top and side as it is, to get a perfect square? Joseph's got it. That's good. Kaylin's got it. Good job, good job. Hey, Tobian's got it. All right, this is what I'm seeing now. They're pulling, oops. They're pulling this guy over here and this guy over here. And then placing these, these four here. We have a perfect square. Because that's what we need to complete it. Good. So so let's talk about those dimensions. Very, very good. So we had to add these guys, right? Otherwise we couldn't have a perfect square. We were lacking something. So we started with our x squared. We had a total of four of, uh, four of those x's. And this is what was necessary to complete that square. Is everybody cool with that? OK. What is the dimension of this square now then? How long is this side right here? This is, it's an x squared. So this is x and this is x x by x gets me x squared. Everybody agree with that? Okay. How long is this? Two. We have two of these x's. This part is two. This dimension's already x, but this side is two. And this side is two. Because this distance here is only one in length, one by one, and this distance is only one in length. Th this part is the x, this is your x side, and this is a one by x. Okay. Everybody okay with that? The whole thing has x for its, its area, but it is one this way and x this way. That's how we get 1x for its whole dimension, for its whole, whole area. So this is x plus 2 by x plus 2. That's the area of this figure. And when we work it out, we get an x squared plus 4 of these x tiles plus four of these small tiles, four of the ones. So we had to add four to make it a perfect square. Everybody good with that? Okay. If it helps you to remember it, you can sketch it, sketch the boxes in your little, on your little paper. And we're going to look at the next one. Now we've got x squared minus 6x.
So we're looking for, oops, I'm sorry, did I give you, I did the wrong one? That was mine. Okay, so the now you're doing the next one. x squared minus 2x plus c. What c are we going to need to add to make that a perfect square? So start out with your x squared box again. And this time, instead of four of the um, green tiles, what do we need in order to have negative 2x? Two of the little red x tiles. So we're looking at these guys. And those are the only ones that we're concerned with at the moment. And again, we want our kind of our bounding box so we can figure out what the dimensions of this guy is when we're all said and done. So we want to line up our x squared in the corner. And we're going to make a perfect square. And Sarah's already an expert. She's got it. Good. Tyler's got it. Veronica's got it. Those are quick studies. Okay, so I'm seeing this. So what's missing from our square to make it a perfect square? Just a single one tile, right? Now, should it be beige or should it be red? Beige. Why is it beige? You're right. Good, because a negative one, negative x times a, a negative one times a negative one is going to get me a positive. So very good. It's going to be a beige tile. Okay. What are the dimensions? Positive or negative one? Negative 1. And when we multiply x minus 1 times x minus 1, or x minus 1 quantity squared, our perfect square, that's what we're trying to get to, we get an x squared minus 2 of these x's plus a 1. Pretty good with that? If you want to sketch it out, here's a chance to sketch it out on your sheet. If you don't want to, that's okay. It helps you remember. Visual learners tend to do well with this kind of stuff. If you're visual, you'll want to sketch it. Okay? Next one. x squared minus 6x plus c. We have to figure out what our c is to make that a perfect square. Remember to find it on one side. We want our x squared to be on one corner and everything building off to the right or below. I think Kobe was the first one done. Tyler is close second. Veronica's got it. Sydney's got it. Nancy's got it. Good. 
Yes, it's got it. So how many do we have to add? Very good. X squared plus 6X plus what makes a perfect square? Nine. Good. Okay. So x squared plus 6x plus 9. Everybody get it? Nobody needs to see it up here? Okay. We're getting faster. I don't know if you have enough tiles here to do this one. But x squared plus 8x plus C to make that a perfect square. Can anyone make a prediction of how many little beige colored tiles we'll need? See a couple people with the right answer. Let me think a little bit. How many are we going to have to add? Heard another whisper of it. To make it a perfect square. Here's a quick studies. Well, when we make our box, there's our x squared box. I should have done it in blue. Apologies. You're noticing a pattern, aren't you? We're dealing with 8x's now. So how do we have to split those in order to make this perfect square? Yeah, four here and four here. So we're splitting it. We're taking half of that eight, aren't we? And then what do we do to it in order to get all the right boxes down here? Yeah, we square it. So one half of eight squared will be what our C is. Okay? Half of eight squared gets us our C. going to happen with it with this guy mm -hmm. good we've got somebody already predicting now we've got a problem don't we yeah. we only have five tiles not going to work with tiles is it not unless you have a pretty heavy duty scissors these are pretty strong tiles right so what do we have to do we've got to split those five tiles evenly, right? So how many would be along this one edge? Half of five is two and a half, and the other way, two and a half. So there's my two and a half and two and a half, and look at my messy little itty bitties down there. I'd have to cut those up as well. So what is half of five? We said that's two and a half, or five halves, right? If I square that, 5 squared, 2 squared. So all of these little tiles down here would be a total of 25 fourths if I broke them up into fours. 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So we'd have to have smaller tiles. Okay, so gather your tiles up. We'll put those back in the bag. And you found the pattern. So this should make sense. Pass your bags to the front, and we'll finish going over this. Don't lose your worksheet. We'll finish this tomorrow.